Okay, this is DSI. Um, here's my DSI. I'm going to show off something very yeah. awesome that I managed to do. All right, let's see here. As you can see, this is a DSI. Which should be Plex. But I'm going to show you Code Breaker not working on a DSI. Let me actually mount this camera. Let me mount this camera somewhere else here. All right, so we're going to show what it normally does when you try to boot this particular cart. Immediate error. So this one's blocked by the DS cart whitelist. But what I'm about to show is that I managed to add Codebreaker to the DS cart whitelist and get it to boot. Now, the reason this works is because in firmware uh, version 1.4 USA and Europe, uh, Japan has not been tested but I assume that this applies to that as well. Nintendo forgot to do RSA checks on the uh, the actual SD cart, DS cart whitelist SRL on NAND. So if you got hacks, you have a way of modifying that file. And as long as you hash everything correctly, and it seems to work. So I'm going to have to cut this video and actually flash the modified firmware to my DS to show that portion of it off. So there will be an edit in this video, but... Okay, back. Now I've finished uh, flashing the firmware image back to a DS. Here's my code breaker. Here's a game to test with it. Some lights. Let's see what's going on here. This be a real DSi. The only thing this DSi has is Sudoku hacks. Nothing special. As you can see here, I show you what version of firmware I'm on. 1.4. Let's go return to home menu. So we're going to see if this works. So first, I'm going to put in my game. Make sure the slider is on. Yeah. It's got the game inserted. Code breaker. And it works. So this will pretty much allow a lot of blocked flash cards to work again. All you have to do is add them. A lot of flash cards pretend to be DS games, but maybe some of the older ones that don't can be uh, run on DSi this way. But that really depends. The uh, original R4 is still not going to work, obviously, because it doesn't have valid uh, icon data. And it won't even show up in the uh, home me system menu. That's what it's called. I almost called it home menu there. <laughs> I don't think I enabled any cheats, but whatever. No, I didn't. Well, anyway, the game works to it. Uh, I've when I tried to get the uh, my DS Extreme to work, but this one uses. Let's see, where's the camera? This one uses a uh, ARM7 code RAM entry addresses that DSI does not like, so. That was not new to TWL firm, DSI checks for that too, it looks like. So some of the older ones won't work, but the uh, if you wanted a custom ROM image for your Ace Card 2i, you could probably do that now. And there's certain flashcards that'll work via this method, so there you go. First uh, custom successful addition to the whitelist working on 1.4 firmware. So I'm going to see my code breaker working on this. <laughs>